So in this little session, what we'll be looking at is how do we see things? How, do, how can we see things? Um, and does it need to be dark or does it need to be light? So I haven't got a dark room, so I've made a dark box. And the box is just a shoe box. It's got a hole in the top. And there are very, di very, various different ways you can use this. I'll talk you through it, but it's just got a hole in the top so I can see in the top if I want to. Or I can look through there. But you either have a source of light. So if you've got a torch, you could put that at the end there. And that's, that would be a really good way. And then observe in the top. I haven't got a torch. So what I'm using is the lamp looking through the hole in the top. And then I'm going to turn it round. And I'm going to observe through the hole at the end. Okay. Now, we look at the items in the box. And we think to ourselves, okay, will I be able to see this in light? Will I be able to see it in the dark? Well, we're in light and I can see it. It's a little ball of wool. I've got a wooden spoon. What will happen if there isn't any light, if it's dark? Remember, darkness is the complete absence of light. So I'm going to predict what I would see in this box if we didn't have any light at all. So I'm going to turn this lamp off and have a look what we can see. This is the nearest to darkness that I can get. So I'll put my hand over the top so the light from this light can't get in. And I've predicted that I'll be able to see that wooden spoon because I think that wooden spoon is a source of light. So this box is completely dark. So if I look in through my viewing hole, I should be able to see that spoon. I don't know if you can see that, but you can't see anything. You definitely cannot see the spoon. So the spoon must not be a source of light. I could look with the light on, casting light in, and what can I see? Well, I can actually see some things. I can see it quite clearly. So why can I see it when the light's on? But I can't see it when the light's off. That's because none of the items in this box are actually a source of light. They are not giving any light at all. All they're doing is reflecting the light from here and the light above. And it's reflecting it into my eyes. And my eyes are making sense of what they see. They see. My brain is making sense of the light that's being reflected from this balloon into my eye. And it's telling me that that is a yellow balloon. If we want to extend that, we could say that all of the light from the spectrum, the spectrum, light is not white. Light is made up of every colour in the spectrum. This balloon is absorbing all of that light, the purple, the blue, the green, the orange. It's absorbing everything and all it's giving out is the yellow and that's why it looks yellow. We can also use this box for another sense and that sense is touch. So you could put your hand in here, feel an object, just using your sense of touch, not your sense of sight or anything else, just touch. And I'm going to say that this object is an elastic band. Why? Because I can stretch it in between my fingers and it feels like I experience. So I'm going to write down on my table of results, this is an elastic band. I'll say to my friend, I think this is an elastic band. Let's have a look. It's an elastic band. So I predicted correctly. So my sense of touch worked really, really well and it worked completely by itself. It didn't work with any other senses because we use our senses together, but that worked really well by itself. And you could check to see if you're right. Oh, I think that's a wooden spoon. I think that's a wooden spoon. Oh, it is a wooden spoon. So your sense of touch is really good and you could trick someone at home by putting a little dish of jelly in there. That usually works really well. Or a spider, that usually works well too. Just ask someone to close their eyes, put their end in your box and see what they can feel and see how good their sense of touch is. But it's a good fun to put some jelly or something a bit gooey in there. Custard's also a good one.